Hello, and welcome to Tips and Tricks. My name is Jason, one of the training support specialists in the Port Orange Library Distribution Center. Today we will be talking about the Nova Chat Input Stick. The Input Stick is a USB Bluetooth receiver that allows the user to control their computer using their Nova Chat device. Here is PRC Saltillo with information about setting up and using your Input Stick. Starting with Update 2.44 on the chat software for NovaChat, computer control compatibility is available. The input stick wireless receiver is compatible with NovaChat models 5, 8, 10, and 12 that are running Android 4.4 or higher. Please refer to the NovaChat user guide for more specific details about compatible devices and operating systems. Let's take a look at how to connect your NovaChat to your input stick. Start by inserting the input stick into an available USB port on your computer. Next, you will choose the input stick to use with your Nova Chat by going to the menu, then Application Settings. Scroll down to System, then select Bluetooth Settings. Select Use with Input Stick. The Nova Chat will start scanning for a Bluetooth receiver nearby. When you see the input stick in the list, tap on it. Three asterisks will appear next to the input stick when it is paired with your NovaChat. Use your back arrow to get back to your vocabulary file. Next, you will want to add buttons within your vocabulary file to be able to pair your AAC system to the chosen input stick. We will need to add a button to our vocabulary file to turn on and off the computer controls. Let's use the keyboard page and replace the dollar sign with a button that will take us to a new page for our computer controls. Go to Menu, then select Edit Mode. Press and hold the button you want to edit. Let's remove the current button set and start with a brand new button here. Press and hold the blank space, then Create Button. Give the button a label like Computer Controls. Then we need to change the button action. Go to Actions in the top right corner. We want to remove the speech message action, then add a new button action. This button will take us to a new page where we will add our computer controls. Scroll down to Visit. Select New at the bottom to create a new page. We'll name this Computer Controls. Tap on Save, then tap on Save again. We can use this new button to go to that new blank page. We need to add a button to turn on and off computer controls. Press and hold a blank button and select Create a Button. Give the button a name. Let's call this Controls On Off. Then go to Actions in the upper right corner. Remove Speech Message Action. Then we will add a new action. Scroll down to Computer Controls on Off. Select Save. Exit Edit Mode. Next, we will look at how to turn computer controls on and off. Press our new button. You will see an icon appear in the speech display bar to tell you that the computer controls are on. Tapping on the icon will allow you to go into communication mode. This allows you to talk with your NovaChat and not have the text go to the computer. Tapping on the icon again will put you back into computer mode. To turn off the Bluetooth connection to the input stick, press Controls on off. Let's try out using the computer controls to type in a Word document. Start by opening a new Word document on your computer. Turn on the computer controls and then start creating your message. I want to go. As you are creating your message on your NovaChat, the text is appearing in the Word document on your computer. I want to go for a ride today. If you need to communicate with your NovaChat, tap on the icon in the SDB and then create the message. While in communication mode, you won't see the text showing up on the Word document. Help me. Tap on the icon in the SDB to go back into computer control. Continue typing your message. Do you want to go with me 
You can also program keyboard shortcuts and commands to use. Go to your computer controls page. Tap on Menu, then Edit Mode. Choose a blank button, then select Create a button. We can add an Enter button for us to use while typing, so we will give it that label. Next, go to Actions and remove the speech message. Tap on Add an Action. Scroll down to Computer Controls Command. Enter is a special key. Select Special Key and find Enter in the list. Tap on Save, then Save again. We can also use the keyboard shortcut for saving a document. Choose another blank button. Give the button a label. Go to Actions and remove the speech message action. Tap on Add an Action. Scroll down to Computer Controls Command. We need to tell the input stick what keys on the keyboard to select. Check off Control and then put the keyboard character S in the box. Tap on Save, then Save again. Exit Edit Mode. Let's try it out. Let's go. Today. Please. Let's go today, please. When saving a document, a pop up will show up on your computer screen. You'll give it a name and save it by tapping on Enter from your NovaChat. On behalf of the AT and UDL Technology and Learning Connections team, we want to say thank you for joining us today. Please keep an eye on our website for additional videos and support.